recently and it has had good responses. It is about our lives, it is about lives of people. We realize that we have stories to give. Every one of us has a story to give about their life and achievements. We may not have reached there, but we have achievements we can thank God for. And therefore we welcome you this morning and today on behalf of, 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 of Jeroboam Kimtai, Lifetime Records, and also on behalf of the channel of Charles Kosi, my, my, my guest today, and not but, uh, last but not least, on behalf of Msani Records, we welcome you, our viewers and our friends. Welcome. Today our guest is Kosi Charles, the singer that I have known, and I am blessed to have him here. And what blesses me more is about the songs he does. It's about the grace, the grace of God, it's about where God has taken him from. It's about life he has passed through. And apart from songs, today we welcome him here to give us his story, a little story about what pushed him to have uh, those songs sung to us. Welcome, my brother. Thank you so much. Okay, my name is Jeroboam Kimtai, yes. and we have Charles. Charles is here now. Now tell us about yourself about yourself briefly before you continue. Thank you so much, Mr. Jiroboam. I'm Charles Kosi, and uh, I would like to thank God for this chance. And I also thank my brother for giving me this platform. I'm a gospel artist, and I started singing last year, March, when the pandemic just started. That is 2020. Yes, 2020. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So my first song was Corona, mm. then followed by Dunia Imelewa, <coughs> then followed by Ushuhuda, and then currently we are working on a very powerful one yes. known as Neema. Neema. Yes. Wonderful. Uh, the one that has touched my heart most is about Ushuhuda, Ushuhuda. and we shall be talking about <laughs> it uh, in, 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 in later. But yes. now, Ushuhuda featured a uh, Joe. Joe Msani. Joe Msani. Yeah. We shall not talk it about we shall not talk about it today. Yes. But I'm I'm glad to have it. You know we, we began with Joe those days, two thousand and seven, yes. six there. Yeah. But now this has begun to be a very uh, wonderful company to reckon with. Yeah. Now can you before we, we speak about songs, Kabla Tongeo Kusu Nimbo, yes. can you walk us through your journey? Because your song that featured Msani, this song touches your life. Exactly. And if I may highlight a little bit for you to understand what I want to ask about is, uh, you spoke about God has helped you. You mentioned you don't have you don't have parents. Whether it's true story or not, you will let us know. But God has <coughs> made you to come through things. Now you get what I want from you. Can yes. you take us through? Now the song of Shuhuda 
is my real life story. Okay. It's all about what I went through mm -hmm. and what we went through as a family. Sure. Yeah, I lost my parents, both of them, when I was in class eight. And it was my exam week. Okay. So the first one to pass on was my mother. Okay. And I was informed about her death. Mm. Then it did not even last long. Mm. The gap was very, very short. Sure. My dad followed her. The same year? Yeah, the same month. The same, the same month. month? Yeah. Exam, exam week. Yes. KCP exam. Mm. So this actually was a big blow to me and to my siblings. Yes. Then after that, you know, we were taken by relatives and family members, promising us that we are going to to continue with our education. Yes. But unfortunately, I found myself being one of their house boys. The so, ones who took you yeah. uh, for help yes. turned you into another thing altogether. Exactly. Yes. I was looking after their animals. And mm. You understand? I understand, <coughs> yes. And I was like, uh, the other day I was actually cleaning the compound. So after that, my grandmother came for me mm -hmm. and said that I cannot continue like that. My grandmother organized for my education and mm -hmm. my brother took me. His name is Fred. Fred, yeah. Wherever he is, God bless you, bro. Yes, God bless you, Yeah, Fred. He, he paid for my school fees, mm -hmm. that is high school, from, from one to form four. Yes. So after form four, I had now to work like a man, okay? Yes. So I became independent. I started doing Mjego, any kind of job. Yes. And then in the meantime, as I was doing this, I was saving some money. Mm. Then I, I, I joined a, a teaching college. Wow. And I did my diploma mm. in ECD. ECD. Yeah, Costa Academy Mombasa. Uh -huh. Those were aware. It is in Kisaumi. Okay. So I was actually one of the teachers in that school, and yes. I taught for five years. Okay. And during that period, I was hosting, or I was taking care of my sibling, my sister. Are you the first born or something? I'm the second born. The second born, yes. Yeah, but the first born is in US. Okay. So he went to US. Uh -huh. So I'm the one who, who, who remained with my siblings here. Okay. So I was taking good now, now at this time when you, when your parents passed on, yeah. was your first your first born sibling around? <laughs> Yes, it was around, Okay. but it was jobless All right. uh, during that time. Yes. It was also hustling. So when my parents died, it was still hustling. Mm -hmm. Until late, some, some time he, he was lucky enough to be in a relationship with a white lady. Okay. So this white, white lady took him. Mm -hmm. and they went. That was a blessing. Yeah, that was a blessing. Sure, so after sure. that, mm -hmm. I'm the one who was actually with my siblings. Back in Kenya. Back in Kenya. So I'm like the fa their first book. Now we are now we had reached at a place where you are, you have now done your diploma. Yes. Okay. So after doing my diploma, uh, you know very well that um, when you upgrade, mm. they reconsider you. Sure. They give you they they, they actually top up your salary. Mm. <laughs> so that was also uh, an advantage. And it enabled me to save more. Okay. And I paid for my sister's school fees. Wow. Her name is Millicent. Mm. Until class eight. Sure. <coughs> yes. So after that, I decided to do other things. Yeah, I decided to do music. Yes. Music has been in my blood since I was born. Yeah, that is that is normally the question we ask, but yes. we already answered. Yes. There is some drive that yes. makes people to do music yeah, yeah and will be telling us it's more of a drive <laughs> and for you i know you will tell me something yes yes uh -huh. so since, since since i was born music has been in my life yes so i decided to expose it to the world last year last year yeah that's the when year. i decided because life was very tough i remember mm. covid 19 mm. joblessness yes. so i just decided to write a song after writing corona mm. And I thank those who are behind me, like uh, my director, mm. who is 
right now covering this show. Wow, that yeah. is that is that is yeah. like okay, Josh. Jo Joshua. Uh, yes, Joshua. Yeah, Joshua directed that. Yes. And uh, I was recorded. Wonderful. And the song was just powerful. Mm. Then after doing that song, so many people were touched. And they told me, Charles, do another song. Yes. So I was encouraged. Do another song. Yeah, do another song. Yes, Charles. After that, I was encouraged and I sat down and wrote another song. Mm. Talking about Dunia Imelewa. Dunia Imelewa. Yeah, which was also directed by the same Joshua. For the viewers who are watching us and may not understand that part of Swahili, mm -hmm. Dunia Imelewa, Lewa means get drunk. Yes. Drunk of alcohol. <laughs> now, why did you, mm -hmm. did you speak about Dunia Imelewa? Dunia Imelewa came after Corona, you know Corona came? Yes. And people were confused, so Confusion. everybody was like, everybody's drunk. <laughs> so I decided... With confusion. To, yes, confusion. Yes. There was a lot of confusion. Some people went back to Shago, uh -huh. others were coming in, you understand? Coming to, yes, those yeah, So people were just, um, other relationships were being broken. Uh, sure. Yeah, you understand. So mm. that's when I decided to, to sing Dunia Malewa. Then after that second song, people said, Charles, we can see something in you. Sure. Please don't give up. Mm. Now I decided to thank God about my life. Ushuhuda. Ushuhuda now. Yeah, Ushuhuda. I reflected what I went through and what my family went through. Sure. So I sat down and wrote about Ushuda. Ushuda. Testimony. Testimony. The testimony of your life now. Me, 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 now Ushuda. That song, Yes. when I came to studio to record it, I remember I talked to Joe, yes. Joe Msani. Yeah. Whatever he is, Joe, be blessed. I, I, I would wish to, to tell people the right names <laughs> of Joe Msani. Yes. He is Josh Nyamongo. Josh Nyamongo. Powerful. Wherever Josh Nyamongo is, you are a very good mentor. Wonderful. Yeah, you actually mentored me. And when I just sang that song, Joe told me, okay, mm. can you sing it? Yes. I want to hear it. Mm. He put me on microphone. And when I produced the song, Joe loved the song. Okay. It was not my motive to do a collab with Joe. Sure. I wanted to sing it solo. Okay. But after singing the song, Joe said, Charles, I want to do the second stanza. Mm, and and I told him, do it. Do the second stanza. And Joe actually sang that part excellently. And he is he is he the audio producer or used another? I, I realize this company has a variety <laughs> exactly. of producers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, is he the one who did uh, audio for you? Yeah, Joe is the one who did the audio. Yes. He mixed it. Mm. He loved it. And even the video, we did it with him. Wonderful. And the director for that video is uh, Tim. Uh, Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's, that was a wonderful one. I even saw him sing. Yeah. I've seen him even on video. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So after we should now. Mm. Okay, which other project have you done? Because I still have some questions yes. for you in Ushuda. After Ushuda, mm. now I want to talk about Neema. Neema. Okay. Neema Yabwana. The grace of God. The grace of God. Yes, brother. The grace of God, I'm telling you. Neema Ikikukujia. Even the world, Watashanga. Yes. So in Neema, it was about the life. So I did Naema with some of my friends, one powerful lady, known as Lillian Kirui. Okay. I think the world is aware of her music. Okay. Lillian Kirui is one of the world is aware of her music. Okay. Lillian Kirui is one of the most powerful solo artists they are around. Mm -hmm. And I talked to her. Kirui, can you join us? And she agreed. And we also did it with uh, uh, producer Yusuf. Yusuf. Yeah, Yusuf. Yusuf uh, from TZ. Okay, okay. He's, uh, he's one of the officials in Tanzania. TZ is Tanzania. Yes. Yes, for the benefit yeah. of our viewers. Exactly, okay. a Tanzania. Yeah, okay. 
So we did it mm. with Yusuf, Lydia, and Kiru and myself, yes. and also with uh, a lady mm. uh, who is also a member of Advent Pillars. Okay. Yes. And uh, we did that song, mm. and it is yet to be produced. We are dropping it out soon. Mm. So that song, it actually praises God. Do you realize you are even singing biblically? The Bible says yes. the grace of God is sufficient. Exactly. I don't know what informs you are singing, but I'm touched so much by your songs. I sampled some of the songs yesterday on your YouTube channel. Thank you. I saw they are so encouraging. They lift people even socially. Thank you. Okay, now I realize even in this corona period, mm -hmm. most of the people have suffered from mental illness. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now in your journey, since you started singing last 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 uh, last year, the year two thousand and twenty. Yes. Uh, just after you had lost both of your parents, may they rest rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And then you are now taking care of your your siblings, especially yes. your sister you've me mentioned, yes. until closet. That is where your story has reached. Mm -hmm. What is going through your mind in this hardship? Can you share it with us? What I realized, and this is from experience, mm -hmm. caste is anyone who put their trust in human beings. Trust God, ask God to help you, and God will use people to bless you. Because I realized that most people were actually diverting their attention to human beings. For help. Mm. Others were running to politicians. Yes. Others were running to their relatives. Mm. Forgetting that there is God above. above. So the moment you trust in God, God will use people to assist you. So this is what I learned. Mm -hmm. Trust God in everything. Trust God for provision. Trust God for deliverance. Yes. For a breakthrough. Yes. And you will succeed. That's what I learned. Mm. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, this, this is an introduction to your life and the journey you are about to embark on because when we were doing, we were inviting you to this show, we knew that you have a lot. Yes. So we will do a bit of introduction today, mm. knowing that one time when we, we invite you, you will grant us that privilege of coming again. Thank you. Now, um, in this program today, uh, what is your advice to people who do not know God? I'm interested to ask you that question immediately. Please share it with us. To those who do not know God, mm. they are lucky because they do not know God. Okay, they are lucky. Yeah, you are lucky because you do not know God. <laughs> but today, yeah. you already know God because I'm telling you that there is God. There is. Now you are not lucky because you know you God know. already. Uh -huh. The Bible says, it would have been better for you not to have known the truth, mm. than to know the truth and go against it. All right, I get you now. You get it? Yes. So now that you know the truth, please don't go against it. There is God in heaven. You know right now that there is God. There is God in heaven. So be very careful. Yeah. That's the advice I can give people. There is God in heaven, and this God must be worshipped in truth and in what? And in spirit. And in spirit. It's no longer that time of ignorance our online viewers. Yes. We are not scaring anybody, but we invite <laughs> you to our God. Exactly. Now, remember to subscribe even as you continue watching. Yes. Subscribe, subscribe. And let this good uh, sharing reach many people. Because when we share our lives, it is a kind of healing to the one who is sharing. And it also will help those people who are watching. Because out there, out there, people are passing through a lot. Yes. There was a time I was sharing this with the with Joe, mm -hmm. and I was telling him, with this program of sharing, mm -hmm. a lot of things uh, will, will get out of people. Then he told me, a lot of people are going through a lot of stories in life, mm -hmm. so they need such platforms for them to, to get to know that people are going through issues, stuff, but they get out of it. Yes. So please share about this program, share and share to many people, and this will be a blessing to you. Now, there's a question that my producer will always remind me. Yes. Uh, K. Josh. Joshua. 
Joshua, yes. Joshua reminds me always to ask people mm -hmm. to say something to Kenyans, yes. especially in this, these times of confusion mm -hmm. about this politics that is coming. This is the <laughs> platform. I know you speak to a great many, to thousands of people on YouTube. Yes. So tell them something, something from your heart, because I know like me, I am tired, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm hosting you here, but I live in Kenya, okay? Mm -hmm. yes. I'm also tired with this kind of people not uh, going together in unity when it comes to such times. What can we tell them? We should understand that politics started in heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay. It started in heaven. Mm. Satan started politicking against God. Eh? Okay. And that's why we have the government at the Opposition. Sure. Yes. So opposition is everywhere. Mm. And that is politics. Yes. And politics also came down to the reigns uh, or uh, to, to, to our ancestors like uh, King David, King Solomon. Mm. That was politics. Mm. So politics is not bad. The only thing I would like to advise people is let God use you to choose the right leader. Wow. Yeah, our leaders are God sent. Mm. And let us not choose them on. Uh, based on whatever they give us. Yes. Okay. For instance, money or whatever. Mm -hmm. Can we select leaders who are wise? Wisdom sure. is the best thing. King Solomon was wise. That's why he was able to lead. So let us not choose or elect leaders based on whatever they give us, based on their wealth. No. Let us elect leaders based on wisdom. Wisdom. So that is my message to all Kenyans. And also remember... Yes. My uh, uh, social platforms mm. can get me through uh, YouTube, Charles Cosi. Uh -huh. Charles Cosi. Cosi is C O double S Y, not yeah. K. I, 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 and I know our producer will be running that. Exactly. Where below yes. the screen. Charles Cosi. That one, one is good in that. Yeah. Uh, he's good in marketing. Yeah, that yeah. one, be sure. <laughs> <laughs> be sure and that is one of the reasons why we have brought you yeah, to this you. platform yeah, thank you, okay that was our message for kenyans mm -hmm. let us choose leaders with wisdom. wisdom let us not be biased let us try so much to use our thinking rather than getting lured and in getting influenced by politicians who have their own motives mm -hmm. there are many people we must have leaders kenyans we must have leaders and leaders come from god yeah. just have you have as you have alluded to. Leaders come from God, but we need to choose them with wisdom. Now, my final question for you. Yes. You have spoken to Kenyans, mm -hmm. and we would wish to come for another program, as I promised earlier. How is your life concerning, uh, especially let us touch specifically on the way music is taking you yeah. since you began last year, mm -hmm. 2020. Now, you are talking about, you are, you are singing mostly gospel. Yes. Okay, how is this music taking you? I presume financially also tell us about it. Thank you so much. Mm. If you've been very keen with my music, you realize that my music is elevating from one level to the other. For instance, I started with Corona mm. pandemic, right? Then the name Elewa. Somehow negative, eh? Right? Sure. Then Ushuhuda. Ushuhuda, Ushuhuda is now testimony, mm. positivity and some light. Yes. And then from Ushuhuda, Mimi Nimeacha. Bulewa, Nimeacha Pom. It's like music is now renovating our lives. And then the next project after that is Naema. Naema. So this is a clear indication mm. that music has really elevated my life from scratch yes. to somewhere. Wow. Right now, as we speak, mm. I cannot talk much on the financial uh, benefits sure. because to me, my life and good health is wealth. Mm. Good health is wealth to me. So about financial uh, benefits, God has been good to us, uh, to my family. Mm. And then you remember about my family, yes. no man is an island. Sure. Yeah. Mm. We always have people around us. Mm. And I would not like to expose it that much. Given. The only thing I would like to say is, yes. we have people around us who are supporting us. Mm. I have family members, mm. I have friends, mm. I have relatives, sure. and I have my producers and my directors, mm. people who, who really love God, mm. and we are together in this journey. 
Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Now your parting shot. My parting shot is that may God bless you Amen. as my uh, host. Amen. And may God bless my director who is behind the scene. Amen. And may God bless the producers who really worked hard. Uh, jo Josh. Uh -huh. And uh, we also have other producers who really worked tirelessly to make sure that this journey is good. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember, I can't forget my first producer, uh, Mr. Momani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Momani. Okay. Who was also so, he is still good to me. Yes. So may God bless them and may God bless all my fans. I would like to thank all my fans. Mm -hmm. I can't forget about you. This guys. is for your fans. You've yes. been subscribing to mm -hmm. my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You've been with me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Some have been calling me. Yes. Keep it up and may God bless you all. And remember to support Msani. Remember to support my music, Charles Cosi. One love. That's wonderful. That is from him. He has been giving us his parting shots. Mm -hmm. And I would like to thank you and thank you so much for accepting our invite thank into you. this interview yes. and viewers we thank you because of this wonderful time you have given us by watching this expect more from us expect more from us from many friends from many guests and i am sure for sure i know when you watch this program you will get to be lifted from one level to another be it in music be it in social life be it in business be it in church be it in anything you do there must be light at the end of the tunnel and you will have to enjoy it. The thing that we have been told is to exercise wisdom, not only in this year that is coming for our nation, but in anything we do. Let us have wisdom in everything we do. And now, remember also to subscribe. And on behalf of Jeroboam Kimtai, uh, Lifetime Records, uh, Charles Kosi, our, our guest today, and with a request from my producer, Musani Records, we would wish that you continue in subscribing in those channels and this information will continue reaching you. God bless you and have a wonderful day. We shall leave you with the song Ushuda, the song Ushuda from our brother Charles Kosi. That one will be playing for you. Shani mwangu Sinabudi kukushukuru mungu Kwa mema ulioni tendea Ushuhuda Mimi nila ushuhuda Kama kuu umetenda maisha ni mwangu Sinabudi Sinabudi kukushukuru mungu Kwa mema ulioni tendea Kijiji ndogo nililelewa Niliishi maisha ya shida nyingi Shule ni masombo shida Nyumba ni pia chakula hakuna Nikavumili ama isha magumu Wazazi wangu nikawapoteza Kisha nikaona mkono Katika kijiji ndogo nililelewa Niliishi maisha ya shida nyingi Shule ni masomo shida Nyumba ni pia chakula hakuna Nikavumili ama isha magumu Wazazi wangu nikawapoteza Sina 
Kabudi kukushukuru Mungu kwa mema ulioni tendea Ushuhuda mimi nina ushuhuda kama kuu umetenda maisha ni mwangu Sinabudi Sinabudi kukushukuru Mungu kwa mema me ulioni tendea Kati yetu matatizo yamekusonga umewaza wewe umefika mwisho umeshindwa jambo la kufanya iwe rafiki usikate kama yeye Yesu anatujali zote atayabadili maisha yako yote yawe ushuhuda wake je kuna ye mmoja kati yetu amewaza amefika mwisho matatizo yote yamekuzunguka umeshindwa jambo la kufanya ewe rafiki usikate tamaa yeye Yesu Lizote atayabadili maisha yako yote yawe ushuhuda wake ushuhuda mimi nina ushuhuda ya makuu umetenda maisha ni mwangu sinabudi kukushukuru Mungu kwa mema ulioni tendea Shani